In the field of user experience design, there are several principles that guide designers in creating intuitive and user-friendly interfaces. These principles are based on human psychology and cognitive processes, ensuring that designs align with user needs and expectations. Let's explore some of these fundamental principles and provide examples of how they can be applied in real-world design scenarios. Law of User Empowerment Designs should empower users to achieve their goals and feel in control. In user-centered design, it is crucial to empower users by providing them with the tools and features they need to accomplish their tasks effectively. By giving users a sense of control, they are more likely to feel confident and satisfied with their experience. For example, a task management app could empower users by allowing them to prioritize tasks, set deadlines, and customize their workflow according to their preferences. This level of control enables users to tailor the app to their specific needs and work in a way that suits them best. Law of User Feedback Users should receive feedback on their actions to understand the system's response. Feedback plays a vital role in user experience as it provides users with information about the outcome of their actions and helps them understand how the system is responding. Feedback can be visual, auditory, or haptic, depending on the context. For instance, when a user submits a form on a website, a visual confirmation message can appear to indicate that the form has been successfully submitted. Similarly, when a user adjusts the volume on a device, an auditory feedback tone can be played to indicate the change in volume level. By providing timely and relevant feedback, users can make informed decisions and feel confident in their interactions with the system. Law of User Engagement Design should engage users through interactive and meaningful experiences. Engaging users is essential for capturing their attention, fostering a positive emotional connection, and encouraging continued interaction. Interactive and meaningful experiences can be achieved through various design elements such as animations, gamification, storytelling, and personalization. For example, a language learning app could engage users by incorporating interactive quizzes, progress tracking, and personalized recommendations based on their learning preferences. By creating engaging experiences, users are more likely to stay motivated, enjoy the process, and achieve their desired outcomes. Law of User Flow Design should guide users through a seamless and intuitive flow of actions. User flow refers to the path that users take as they navigate through a product or service. A well-designed user flow ensures that users can easily and intuitively accomplish their tasks without confusion or frustration. For instance, an e-commerce website should guide users through a seamless flow from product browsing to adding items to the cart, entering payment details, and completing the purchase. By minimizing friction and providing clear navigation cues, users can move through the system effortlessly, resulting in a positive user experience. Law of User Persona Design should consider the characteristics and needs of the target user personas. User personas are fictional representations of the target users, created based on research and data. Designing with user personas in mind helps ensure that the design meets the specific needs, preferences, and goals of the intended audience. For example, if the target user persona for a fitness app is a busy professional who wants to incorporate exercise into their daily routine, the design should prioritize features like quick workouts, progress tracking, and reminders. By understanding the user personas, designers can create tailored experiences that resonate with the target audience and address their unique requirements. Law of User Research User research should inform design decisions and validate assumptions. User research is a crucial step in the UX design process as it provides insights into user behaviors, needs, and pain points. By conducting user research, designers can gather valuable data to inform their design decisions and validate any assumptions they may have made. For example, through user interviews, surveys, and usability testing, designers can gain a deeper understanding of how users interact with a product or service and identify areas for improvement. By incorporating user research into the design process, designers can create solutions that truly meet user needs and expectations. Law of Iterative Design Design should be an iterative process, continuously improving based on user feedback. 
iterative design involves repeatedly refining and enhancing a design based on user feedback and testing. Rather than aiming for a perfect design from the start, designers embrace an iterative approach that allows for continuous improvement. For example, after launching a new feature, designers can collect user feedback, analyze data, and make iterative changes to address any usability issues or pain points. By iterating on the design, designers can refine and optimize the user experience over time, resulting in a more user-centric and effective solution. Of usability testing, regular usability testing should be conducted to identify and address usability issues. Usability testing involves observing users as they interact with a product or prototype to identify any usability issues or areas of improvement. By conducting regular usability testing sessions, designers can gather valuable feedback and insights from real users. For example, during a usability test of a mobile app, designers may observe users struggling to find a specific feature or encountering difficulties in completing a task. This feedback can then be used to make necessary adjustments and improvements to enhance the overall usability of the app. Usability testing ensures that the design meets user expectations and provides a seamless and intuitive experience. Law of data-driven design, design decisions should be based on data and insights from user behavior. Data-driven design involves using quantitative and qualitative data to inform design decisions. By analyzing user behavior, designers can gain valuable insights into how users interact with a product or service. For example, by analyzing user analytics, heat maps, and conversion rates, designers can identify patterns, preferences, and pain points. This data-driven approach allows designers to make informed decisions and prioritize design changes that are most likely to have a positive impact on the user experience. Of business alignment, Designs should align with the business goals and objectives of the organization. While user-centered design is crucial, it is equally important to align the design with the business goals and objectives of the organization. Designers should understand the business context, target audience, and desired outcomes to create designs that not only meet user needs but also align with the organization's objectives. For example, if the business goal is to increase conversions, the design should focus on optimizing the user flow, reducing friction, and providing clear calls to action. By aligning the design with the business goals, designers can create solutions that are not only profitable but also sustainable in the long run. Understanding and applying these design principles can greatly enhance the user experience of digital products and interfaces. By continuously learning and adapting these principles to evolving user needs, UI UX and product designers can ensure that their designs meet both user expectations and business goals. If you like my video, please like it, share it with others, or subscribe to my channel.